Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to talk about how to survive weed out courses. So let's get started. All right, so I made a previous video on basically addressing what exactly a weed out course is. And if you haven't checked it out, I'll put a link in the description down below or you can click on the banner right here on the top, right? So if you're in a weed out course, um, you'll know this by being a freshman and <laughs> Not only being a freshman, but taking one of the generic courses that are, you know, required for your college to just graduate in general. And any sort of first level courses such as Physics 1, you know, um, Chemistry 1 and Calculus 1, all of that. And also the Humanities courses or Social Studies courses that you have to take. Um, they will all be pretty much weed out courses. Even if you're in a small course, if the professor is really strict about deadlines and homework assignments and they give you a lot of homework assignments, then you're in a weed out course. But um, just to realize, once you realize that you are in a weed out course, there are five takeaways that I think you would benefit from to actually survive these courses. So the first one is to manage your time. Um, you wanna be able to make sure that you have enough time to do the homework assignments because the professors are going to be giving you assignment after assignment, week after week for eight or nine solid weeks. Um, and there's only going to be a certain amount of time to actually do these homeworks, probably a week or two weeks max. Uh, to do like 30 problems. So you really want to work on your time management, make sure that you have a certain time dedicated towards that specific homework for that specific class um, on that day. And every day throughout the week you want to do this um, you know, for every single week until the semester is over. The next thing is to be consistent. and. By being consistent, it'll help you with the time management. So once you have a schedule set and ready uh, for each class and you know what you need to do each day um, roughly um, based on what the professor gives you, then you wanna make sure that you actually are consistent with this. Make sure you actually do what you said you're going to do. Follow through with what your schedule says and what you planned on doing. And you wanna be consistent, do this week after week until the semester is over. That leads me to number three, which is to follow through. Um, you wanna make sure that you actually do what you say and say what you do. You wanna say, hey, I'm going to study for this at this time for this amount of time. And you wanna do that. You wanna follow through with yourself. And if you don't, well then, what's the point of even having a schedule if you're not even going to follow it? Also, you could think, hey, well, I'm putting in all this time to just even plan out my day, plan out my week. I might as well actually do what I say I'm going to do. Or I might as well do what I plan on doing. Um, and then that way, that won't be a waste of time. And you won't be stressing about whether or not you even have enough time to to do the homework. So that's the third thing. Um, the fourth thing is to uh, prepare yourself. So when a test comes, and most of these tests are going to be multiple choice, when a test ever comes for one of the courses, uh, when it gets closer and closer to the deadline, make sure you're prepared in terms of making sure that you studied for the right material, um, asking the professor what kind of material to go over, uh, and having even the basic necessities, which is like an eraser, a pencil, an extra piece of paper, some notes on the side uh, before the actual exam starts that you can look over, you know, 10, 15 minutes before it starts. And also probably your laptop. You want to make notes on your laptop and use your laptop as well. Bring your laptop into class if you can um, right before the test. But again, I don't know, it's online now, so I don't know how that works. but. Anything you can do to prepare yourself for an exam or even a quiz during before class, um, then do that. The next thing to do, and this helped me a lot, is to look up all the answers online. So you wanna go online and before you even worry or start stressing about whether or not you can answer the question, look online. Um, most of the time these questions have the answers posted online because they are you know, basic, uh, level one courses and so a lot of the questions especially in textbooks can be found online um, I know that happened with me I was able to look up online all of the questions and find the answers for them as well so it made doing the homework a lot quicker um, and a lot easier to do so I'm not worried about having to really know all of the questions I could just look it up if I don't know it look it up find the answer there we go before you look up the answers online I'd suggest trying to do it yourself see if you actually know it and if you don't Give yourself probably 10, 15 minutes to do. Uh, and if you can't do it by yourself, well then that's when you'll go online and probably find the answer there. 
Um, and then if you understand it immediately, great. If not, well then I would wait until the exam comes closer and then study for that material that you didn't quite get to begin with on that question. Um, study that material over again um, right before the exam. That worked with me anyway. And then the last thing is to reach out to others, whether it be the TA, the professor, or your classmates, or get into a group. I didn't do that because like I said, I was able to do it all online. I found a lot of the answers online, but if you're one of those people who are more comfortable with others and are able to study better with others, which personally it's more distracting to have others around than me working on it myself, but it's all personal preference, I guess. If you are able to work with someone else and then bounce your ideas off of them, or if they might know something that you don't, then they can let you know and you'll be able to answer the problem or be able to understand the material that much better and quicker. Um, but honestly, it's up to you. If you are struggling with the material or the homework, either look it up online and try to find it that way and try to figure it out that way, or to reach out to someone in the class who may know the answer and may be able to explain it to you. So one of those two um, will save you in these weed out courses because uh, once again, it's not that the actual problems are difficult, it's just that there's so much. And that if you're not managing your time, which even if you are managing your time, it could be pretty difficult to do these problems uh, by the deadline because there are not only this class that's a weed out class, but you may have another class that's a weed out class because you're a freshman. Majority of them are weed out courses. And so you'll have a lot of homeworks from a lot of different classes that you have to do. And there may be days where they're both due at the same time, you know, two different homeworks are due for two different classes on the same day and you have to find a way to get that done. <laughs> and that may involve asking for others uh, help or looking it up online, you know, whatever it may be, uh, just for the time being so that you're not going to get an F on the homeworks and that's 20% of your grade most of the time. So you don't want that to happen just because you didn't have time to do the homework, you know? Um, but yeah, that's basically the top five. I think I have five, uh, things I'd like to mention on how to actually survive these weed out courses. Um, if you have any other suggestions, please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you guys found this useful or helpful, um, please like, subscribe, and share if you know of anyone who is in a weed out course right now. Um, and yeah, so thanks for watching, bye.